Yo, what's up guys? It's Kale. We're back here with another video. And this is episode two of the series we're starting where I try to fix the Hornets. Uh, if y'all know from last episode, we lost our first game. Shocker there. You know, it is what it is. So we're going to see if we can, you know, start working our way up and maybe win some games, maybe not. But we're really focused on this offseason, as y'all know. So here we go. As you can see, we already got a, a trade coming up. Uh, I like Isabuki, but I'm going to decline that because I want to keep my picks. I'm real big on keeping my picks this season. Uh, I want to keep as many picks as I can. Funny enough, the Magic actually have a high pick. Uh, let's see if I can go see our yeah, here we go, future draft picks. So as of right now, we have three first round picks. Uh, we have the first pick in the draft because we got the Rockets pick. Uh, you know, the Thunder, they have a lot of picks also. But So we got three first round picks in this year's upcoming draft, with, along with the first overall pick of the draft. And we got a second round pick. You know, I wouldn't mind getting some more. You know, I think there's definitely a lot of good talent in this draft. So, uh, actually, before we play, you know, I think before we play, we should always try to go look at some other trades before we play every game. So, I know the Magic have a high draft pick. Let's see if we can let's see. Okay, so they want they want Lamelo. Lamelo's untouchable. He's the only guy. He's the only guy that we cannot give up. I know the Knicks have a high one too. Let's see. Let me just let me just make sure. Let me go look at the the draft. I always, I always, like, I've never really played played this mode. So, yeah, the Knicks up here. Okay, Pacers. So, Pacers and Knicks. We should try to see if we can get their picks. Pacers and Knicks. Okay, we can, that's, this is this is doable. All right, so here we are with the Pacers. You know, as you can see, Lottery protected pick. We're gonna see if we can get one, maybe two of these. Let's just see, see what they're willing to give up. So they want Mark Williams. We definitely don't want to do that. Uh, let's go back to it. Definitely don't want to give up Mark Williams. You know, if we if we have to, we we can. But we definitely don't want to give him up. Patch definitely wouldn't be bad to give up. They want a second round of PJ Washington. That'd be hard to do. Mark Williams, Kai Jones. So after looking at all of these. I think this is this would be the safest one because we're getting the first round pick. And uh, I mean, we're giving up a second round pick, but that doesn't really matter if we get all the players who want the first round, anyways. So we'll go ahead and do this trade right here to get their first round pick. Also, want to take a look at, look at the uh, the Knicks pick as well. See if we can see if we can maybe finagle our way to get that too. So yeah, we can't do this because they want our they want our first round picks. We can't do that. We cannot give up our first round picks. Like I said, and I, I wish 2K explained it a little better, like. You know, I wish they up updated the mock draft. That way I could see, you know, what picks exactly I have. I know I have the Houston Rockets first. I have their first round picks. I know I have the first pick overall in the draft. But, like, stuff like this is just a little confusing, you know. And I'm somebody that walk, follows the NBA and plays basketball. But, you know, it's, it's, it, it is what it is. So, I don't, I don't think we're going to have a trade here with the Knicks. I mean... Yeah, because they, they, they want, you know, first round picks for first round picks, which is smart, but... You know, we're just not, we're not, we're not interested in giving up any of our picks, any of our first round picks, you know, because we, we're expecting a lot with this draft. So, yeah, we'll take a look at this one too. Yeah, so this, this right here is the first pick in the draft. This pick right here that I'm hovering over. This is the first overall pick in the draft, uh, which we got from the Rockets. So obviously, they, they, you know, they wouldn't mind giving that pick right back. But, you know, we definitely, definitely don't want to give back the first overall pick. You know, why, why would we do that after trading the way? We'll just see. You know, we'll go through here and we'll see with uh what the wooden to give up though, you know. Obviously we're gonna try to keep Mark Williams, so we'll pick a we'll pick a player, pick somebody and see if we can uh get the pick. So let's go for it. So yeah, you know, right here, same thing. We're just going through, seeing what we can barter, seeing what we can get for what we got, you know, looking for solid role players, looking for uh picks mostly though. You know, we're really focused on we wanna control the lottery this year. That's what we want to do. We want to dominate and have complete control of the lottery. That way we can get the players we want. Maybe we can trade some picks and get different players and just, you know, build a stepping stone off of that. You know, I'm just going through the settings, looking at different things. You know, I've never really played this game mode before. I had to get me use the bathroom, but you know, this is a lot of lot of fun right here. And then you know, let's let's go ahead and uh let's get into the game pretty soon right here, you know, looking in G League. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the game. Alright, so here we are in our second game. Changed the lineup a little bit. Melo didn't score. I don't think Melo scored at all last game. So we, we took Melo out the starting lineup. 
and we're gonna use Unpatched Bivy. I know y'all messing with this quarter. This quarter is crazy. But yeah, so we took Metal out the star lineup, but we got Patrick Beverly here. So at least we can get some defense, you know. If you're not going to score, at least you can guard somebody for it. So here we go. I mean, funny enough, we're playing the Magic, who have a, a high pick. I think we, we may have exchanged a pick with them, so it should be interesting. Wow, oh, okay. This right here is kind of a, a battle of the bottom teams, you know, so to speak. Like, both teams... Not tanking, but, you know, we're both not very good. So this is, these are always games that, for a fan, you no know, cheap tickets. So good game to go to, I guess. But, you know, it's, it's like, oh, my God. Like, these are the worst teams in the league duking it out. So, like I said, you know, we, we've made some trades in the Magic this year. So definitely interesting to see how things go. Funny enough, they, they would have gave up their, they would have given up their first round pick. God, it's Mark Force Air Balls. They would have gave up their first round pick if we had gave up Lamelo. So Lamelo could have uh, could have been on the Magic. Oh brother, they got Paulo. They got Paulo locking him up like that. It's just like Lamelo doesn't have anyone else to help him. Like he doesn't have a, a scoring option to to take care of him. Like. I mean, God, I, I can't imagine how he feels in real life. Like, he's probably like, God, please give me some help or I'm out of here. Like, look, can't nobody else score. Like, uh, hey, speak of the devil. Yeah, I wonder if this is how he feels in real life. Like, he just has absolutely zero, zero help. And that teams, when they play the Hornets, they know. It's not even a matter of stopping the metal, but just literally, we can just all guard the metal. He's the only person we have to worry about. Like, or zero sucks. Gordon Hayward sucks. And I mean, obviously they're good. Like they obviously they could beat me in one of like basketball because you know they are NBA players. I'm talking about for the money, for them to be on max deals, they suck. Like there were multiple times Gordon Hayward this year didn't even get ten points. He's on a max deal. Like they suck. They're just terrible. And of course the Hornets make a dumb decision to give both of those players max contracts. But you know, like I said, we got them off our team now. So, just kind of going from here. As y'all can see, a, a high pack, high action packed first quarter with a whopping score of four to eight. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's just gotta get through the year. Gotta get through the year. Hopefully, you know we can make some big trades and stuff to make it a little more exciting. But you know, the main thing is to obviously get Wimby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that in every video. Like we're one step closer to getting Wimby, get Wimby. But also we need we need to try to get some scoring, some scoring options. And you know I may flash, I may uh, continuously flash that a screenshot of that team. I was saying that you know best case scenario, three to five years with the Hornets could have. I may keep flashing screenshots of that, but just to give you an idea. But we definitely need to get some scoring options to help Lamelo out. You know, uh, and they don't have to be you know crazy crazy players. But just solid solid players. You know some defenders. Solid guys just to build around. When Wimby gets here, the load's taken off of him because, okay, we obviously got to worry about LaMelo. But now, you know, they have other guys who can get us uh, easy 15 points a game, 20 points a game. So we can't just completely uh, worry about two players. You know, we, they have a, they have a real solid team. So you know, we'll, we'll see how close we are to, to, uh, to building that. All right, so here we are in third quarter, you know. Uh, early on in this season, definitely Mark Williams is definitely a bright spot that the metal has to pinned on and go to and help him out. Definitely a bright spot in this season as he scores right there. Uh, I mean, you know, like I said, even even if the Hornets didn't get with me in real life, Mark Williams is not bad. Like he's he'll be a really good, really good uh big. And I mean I think I think he could potentially be like DeAndre Ayton, but better. You know, DeAndre Ayton he's been, you know, he didn't play as well as he could have this postseason. Uh but I think he could be like a DeAndre Ayton, you know, and definitely develop an outside shot to knock down the occasional open three. So, you know, any anything's, anything's possible. But in a perfect world, it's still Beverly. Exactly what you're here to do. In a perfect world, uh, we would have Mark Williams come off the bench, and it would be, I think, P.J. Washington four, uh, Wimby five. Lamelo one, and they got to get a score, a good scoring guard to take the load off Lamelo, and then a solid wing. So, 
you know, and obviously it's easier said than done, but a solid wing and a good scoring guard. And P.J. Washington can be can be the quote-unquote lockdown offender. You know, LaMelo plays good defense. P.J. Washington can be the guy that has to guard the the scorers in the league. You know, Jason Tatum's players like that, you know, uh, what you call it? Uh, P.J. Washington could be that guy. I feel like they can transfer him into being a really good defender. Yeah, the biggest thing I've noticed just with this right here is just there's nobody to help the middle school. I know I said that already, but it's just like real life. Like, no one can help him score at all. He already has to come down and play make. But then, you know, to get his teammates wide open, it's just like you're already asking for a lot. Good shot, P.J. Parker Force is going to have to beat us, shoot and jump single handle. Also, Bowl has the green on this team. He gets the rebound. He can push. Throw that higher. Like, that's something else that I wish. I wish. I, I just wished stayed on current gen. Like, how right there, I'm throwing the ball to Mark Williams, who's seven foot tall. But I throw a pass that is six feet in the air that Mark Harrell Force can steal or Cole Anthony can steal. Like,. I wish they made it to where your player just, it should be an IQ thing. I don't know if it's a passing style. That's our ball. But it, how does their ball? But it, it should be an IQ thing. Like, if I'm throwing the ball to Bow Bow, I'm not throwing it the ball at his belly button. I'm throwing it to where he can get it. Especially if he has a, a smaller guard on him. Like, I'm not throwing the ball to I'm throwing it, you know, to where he can get it. So, as I can see, we were able to get a, a dub right here. It doesn't really matter. It's the worst team in the league. I mean,. Getting, beating the Magic and you're the Hornets, it's just like, man, it's just a battle of who, who is the the worst team. But, you know, we definitely, I guess, give the team morale to get a dub right here. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, another game down. I, I, I know I need to start, uh, what you call them? I need to start simming the games. Like, I know I need to play every other game to make this go by just a little bit quicker, you know. Already got the shorter quarters and obviously the shorter season, but... All right, so as y'all can see, you know, we're one and one We're going to uh, end up simming our next game, but, you know, thank y'all for watching. And, I mean, slowly, slowly getting towards, you know, slowly getting towards one step close to this offseason where we plan to make a lot of moves. And, actually, you know, let's go ahead and look at let's go look at some of the upcoming free agents, you know. why? I mean, why why not see what's what's coming up and who we can maybe get signed in the offseason. So, Kyrie, Halliburton, uh you know, Harden, Zingas, Mobley. You know, I'm looking at the medals upcoming. We definitely we definitely gonna re-sign him. Uh but you know, it's like I'm definitely definitely curious to see who's coming up. You know, Anthony Edwards gonna be bad to sign, have him play alongside uh the Mello. Anthony Edwards is only six four. I swear he looks taller. You know, it's some it's some good some good players coming up in here, you know. Giddy could shoot, I would definitely consider signing him. Scotty Barnes gonna be bad even though he can't shoot either, but yeah, so it's some it's some notable guys in here. I mean, you know, even some solid some solid not role players, but just guys to fill out the roster. You know, Christian Wood wouldn't be bad. Jeremy Grant wouldn't be bad. Definitely look at some other guys to fill out the, the roster. Uh, Devin Vassell wouldn't be bad. Yeah, it's some solid guys in here. Trey Murphy wouldn't be bad. So, uh, you know, definitely it's gonna be a, one hell of an offseason. You know, with us, you know, signing. Glue guys, role players, maybe even getting another another big name star so you can kind of have a big three in Charlotte. But yeah, thank y'all for watching and we'll see you next time.